guys and welcome to my channel. So I realized I haven't posted a reading update on here in forever and it would take like forever to make a proper reading update with all the books I've read since um, the last time I made a reading update. I have though all those books mentioned on my blog if you're curious. And today I wanted to talk about uh, five of my favorite latest reads. So first one is um, a book I just finished listening to on Audible and it's The Kite Runner by Khalid Hosseini. Um, I feel like this is a book that um, has been on my TBR for like forever. It's a book that uh, seems really important to read. I mean even my mom had read it and that means something because she doesn't read that much. So I knew I really had to pick it up at some point and oh my god, I was blown away by this book. It basically, um, so it takes place uh, in Afghanistan and the United States because the main characters moves there at some point in the story. And it's the story of, uh, so the main character is the son of a wealthy man and um, it follows his story his friendship with the son of their servant and it has ups and down it's fo um, following their story through a uh, civil war and it was absolutely amazing I cried so much while reading this book but it was so worth it and I definitely recommend you read it or you check out the audiobook it's narrated by the author and it was just amazing the second book I wanted to talk about today um, is a young adult book and it's The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. It had also been on my TBR so for quite some time. I absolutely loved the concept of the story, which basically the point is that it follows kids who don't have all these crazy adventures happening to them. And the kids who have all the crazy adventures are called the indie kids. And I just loved how um, through uh, these indie kids you could see the different trends that has happened through the years in, um, in young adult fiction such as uh, vampires, zombies and such. So I absolutely loved this aspect. And that being set aside, I absolutely loved the main characters. They were extremely beautifully written and realistic and I just loved this story. It's my second Patrick Nets book that I read and it didn't disappoint. It's also a book I definitely recommend if you haven't read it yet, though I know a lot of people have read it, so I was a bit late in the trend, but it was so worth it. Um, the next book I have on my list is a book I just finished reading. It was released this year and it's called Children of Blood and Bone by uh, Tomi Adeyemi. It is a story of uh, magic. It is set in a land which used to be inhabited by magic. Some people had magic but they were the magic was destroyed and all these people were killed by uh, the king and his army and the main character uh, lost her mom in this event because her mom had magic and she has the marks that uh, show that she would have magic if magic was there um, and she would be a magi. Anyway, um, it follows her and her brother as well as the daughter of the king on the quest to restore magic and in parallel we see the uh, prince trying to stop them and this story was so beautiful and unique and amazing. I want to say I couldn't put the book down but considering it took me a month to read it that wouldn't be true but you see the idea it was such a great story and I absolutely loved it. I'm gonna try and review it on my blog because I feel like it's worth it and I would definitely recommend it in the meantime. Uh, the next book I have is another book that has been read by a lot of people and has been talked about a lot recently because the movie was released on Netflix and yes that's To All The Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. I hadn't read this book before and I'm like what what was I waiting for because it has been on my TBR since like forever probably since I joined Bookstagram back in 2015 and when the movie was released I knew I had to read it before uh, watching the movie and basically I read the book in like one day, watched the movie in the evening and through the rest of the week I read the two sequels and rewatched the movie another time. 
Um, I'm not going to talk about the plot of this book because you most likely know what it's about. Um, I just wanted to say that um, Lara Jean is such a fantastic and relatable character and I just love this book and I really love the entire trilogy but the first one was my favorite. And the last book I wanted to mention today is George by Alex Gino uh, which follows the story of a little girl who feels like, I mean, it's a story about a little girl who was born in the body of a little boy and she just wants to show the world who she really is and she's gonna try to do that um, during a play of Charlotte's Little Word and because she wants to play Charlotte and nobody understands why. It is such a beautiful and moving book. It's a really quick read and um, I would definitely recommend it if you haven't read it yet. So that's it for today. Uh, these are some of the books that have become uh, uh, my favorite books, uh, at least my favorite reads for this year and I would definitely recommend all of them. Thank you so much for watching this video. Maybe give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos and I guess I'll see you around. Bye!